Have you ever stared at a blank space and wondered how on earth can I turn this nothingness into a visually stunning and functional environment? It might seem overwhelming, but the good news is that once you understand a few key design philosophies, approaches and frameworks and apply them using simple tools in Blender and Unreal Engine 5, environment design becomes not just achievable but an enjoyable and rewarding experience. And that is exactly what we are going to explore in this course. Hello everyone, my name is Ali Reza and in this course we are going to learn how to create an interior factory environment using the most basic tools in Blender and Unreal Engine 5. This course is designed for beginners who want to learn how to create an interior environment from scratch. Prior experience in Blender and Unreal Engine 5 is a plus but not required. I'll cover the basics of both software, ensuring you can follow along easily. We are going to learn how to create our environment in only four chapters. In chapter one, we learn how to think like an architect and how to shape our ideas and concepts. You will discover how to gather and organize ideas, think clearly and strategically, and develop a big picture vision of what you're going to create. In chapter two, we'll dive into Blender and after getting familiar with the software, we will create a rough block out of the environment allowing us to get a general sense of the final outcome. This course takes a modular approach to environment design. So next, we will focus on modeling simple assets for our project. After that, we'll cover UV mapping to ensure materials and textures align correctly with the assets. Finally, we'll learn how to export our assets in FPX format. In Chapter 3, after becoming familiar with the Unreal Engine interface, we'll import our assets and begin building our factory environment. Using the modular assets we created, we'll start placing them in the level to bring our scene to life. In Chapter 4, we'll explore materials and lighting to enhance the visuals of our environment and make it more engaging and realistic. Finally, we'll polish our scene by adding additional props, decals, and final touches to bring everything together and make the environment feel complete and visually impressive. By the end of this course, you'll gain the knowledge, confidence, and the right mindset needed to create impressive and functional environments. Plus, you'll have a solid portfolio-ready piece to showcase your skills. Looking forward to seeing you in the course.